2D 4D transperineal ultrasound beyond pelvic floor dysfunction. Urinary incontinence is the involuntary loss of urine. It is classified as stress incontinence when the urinary incontinence occurs in the face of physical activity or movement, such as coughing, sneezing, running, etc. Stress urinary incontinence is more frequent in women than in men, and its symptoms interfere with people's daily activities, work, and social life. Incontinence surgeries are aimed at repairing the anatomy and or function. The most frequent surgery involves the placement of suburethral slings. There are two types of suburethral slings, TVT, tensionless vaginal tape, and TOT, tension-free transobturator tape. The 2D, 4D transperineal ultrasound is a low-cost imaging method that allows access to the visualization of the axial plane, providing excellent anatomical definition. It allows the evaluation at rest and through dynamic maneuvers essential in the diagnosis of certain pathologies. We present the case of a 54-year-old female patient with stress urinary incontinence. She is intervened by placing a TOT suburethral sling. After surgery, her symptomatology improves, but she begins to present postcoital urinary incontinence. The 2D 4D transperineal ultrasound of the pelvic floor with color Doppler and dynamic maneuvers complemented with abdominal ultrasound is decided. Afterwards, UroCT and MRI are performed. On the picture on the left, we can see a 2D transvaginal ultrasound in the longitudinal plane showing a tubular structure with liquid content marked with arrows that ends up projecting into the vaginal cavity in a plane superior to the suburethral sling marked with an arrowhead. On the right, a 4D ultrasound with reconstruction of the axial plane where an anechoic structure marked with a star is observed in relation to the right wall of the vagina. Abdominal ultrasound is performed showing a right renal duplication with dilation of the upper system, marked with a star. On the CT scan, axial and planes and coronal reconstruction, we can see the right kidney with a double urethra that drains separately into the bladder and vagina. On the MRI, we can see in both images the duplicated urethra which is dilated and has an abnormal outlet in the vagina, marked with arrows. On the top, a 3D MRI fast pinnacle reconstruction. On the images below, a high-resolution T2-weighted scan acquired in the sagittal plane. In conclusion, we can say that 2D, 4D transperineal ultrasound allows the evaluation of pathologies in relation to emptying dysfunction and suspecting malformations or other pathologies of the pelvic structures, given its excellent anatomical definition. Thank you, Thank you very much.